Good morning guys and welcome to the vlog. I hope all of you are having an amazing day. Today is an awesome day for me and that is because I am heading to Tsukuba, Tsukuba, Tsukuba Circuit um, to hang out with Okachan. I hope I said that right. It's a bit of a tongue twister. And it's a two hour drive there and it's going to be insanely awesome. And that is because I have you guys along with me and um, I'm super pumped because it's going to be an amazing day full of heaps of amazing drifters and like getting to watch them and film them. I may even be able to get a passenger run. And I mean, who knows what might happen today? You know, sometimes um, I find that uh, people are very generous and very nice that I may even get to drive one of their cars. But I mean, I don't have my helmet with me or anything like that. But I did bring my, my gloves and some uh, jeans just in case for long pants for the track. I'm not sure what track rules are like here in Japan. So uh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, let's start up the old 33.4 and see how we go. And uh, I just have to say right now, I have to admire this wheel. Damn, I love this wheel. Anyways, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? <coughs> it's also like nearly 5.30 in the morning too. So a bit of an early start, just so I can miss all the traffic and get there for 8 a.m. for on track, like bam. All right, let's go. There it is, guys. This is how far I'm traveling, from all the way down here to all the way up here. It's gonna be a great drive. So pumped. <laughs> I'm actually legitimately pumped. Don't think I'm being sarcastic. Haven't driven this far in a while. I was so sure of our love. So there's only 18 minutes left of the trip and I just thought I'd pull into the 7-Eleven and get some breakfast because um, I am starving. Luckily, um, because I left early enough that uh, I didn't hit heaps of peak hour traffic, so I've actually gotten here a lot quicker than I thought I would, which is always a good thing. Um, but uh, this is my first time driving out or going out here to Tsukuba. So I'm really loving the whole like farming vibe that's everywhere past a whole heap of rice fields just before so that was kind of cool anyways we're going to go in and uh, get some breakfast and see what the go is here at the 7-eleven definitely going to get myself some orange juice and i should probably get a bottle of water for while i'm at the track because actually i'll go for pakari sweat that stuff's way better because it's going to be freaking hot today i bet and then I'll probably just go for a sandwich. I don't feel like any of this hot food that they heat up for you. These bags are cool. They're like roast potatoes and sausages and stuff and they just heat them up for you. But I don't feel like eating anything like that for breakfast. We'll go for that. All right, got something to eat now. So what I'll do is I'll probably just head to the track cause it's only 18 minutes away. And then we'll just sit there and wait for everyone to rock up. So I'm on the way to the track and I just found this building here and there are so many R32 Skylines all stacked up in there. I don't know if you can see that, I'll zoom in on the editing, but that is ridiculous. So many Skylines are just all stacked up there on the edge of that like embankment there. And then they go all the way up in there. I have no idea what that building is, but that is insane. I really hope Google Maps is right, hey. So I get the feeling they're not right. 
because this is like a farm road. Oh man, this is embarrassing. Yeah, this is totally wrong. That's the track over there. Google Maps is taking me the complete wrong way. Beautiful. All right, I guess I'll uh, try and remap this again. <laughs> Okay, so now I know where I'm going. I had to look at like the satellite version of the map to like work out exactly where the right road is to get to that part of the track. Because it's really confusing because Tukaba Circuit, there's like multiple different circuit tracks there and um, there's one called Circuit like 1000 and that's the one where Okachan's uh, event is. So that one's all the way like tucked away in the back corner and yeah, anyways, that's why Google Maps kept leading me on the other side of the track. But this is the track all here on the other side of this fence. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there was actually a sign that said like 1000 circuit thought. So this is most likely the correct road to take. And this is actually all like on property for the track. So that's why it's not on Google Maps this road. So fun times, eh? So maybe if you guys ever come out here to Tukaba, 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 oh man, so hard to get my tongue around that. So if you guys ever come out here, hopefully this vlog will help you guys. I wonder if Okachan or any of these uh, crew are here yet. Doesn't look like they are, but still, there's some pretty cool looking cars here by the looks of things. So that'll be cool to check out. Might see if we can have a good look at the circuit from up here. Oh man. This would be so much fun to drift. This is legit awesome. Definitely gonna have to come out here for another event when I've got that Hikus lockout bar so I can slide out here. This is an awesome setup. Some more cars rocking up on a truck. This is like the dream man here in Japan to have one of these trucks where you can just put these super low cars all the way up like that. So awesome. So what have we got here today so far? There's an S15 sitting over there that's just been idling the whole time I've been here. There's this 180SX, Chaser, Chaser, and there's two more S chassis that rocked up on the back of that truck, both S15s. And this 180SX is super clean. I love it. Roll caged, and yeah, endless brakes. Looks super good with those GTR wheels from the 32. Here comes some of the Yashio factory cars. Well, what's left of them <laughs> that aren't uh, getting rebuilt right now. As I said before, um, Okachan had three SR20s bite the dust in all of his cars. So I think this is all that's left right now. <laughs> so this is Okachan, he's a bit busy right now uh, signing people in. And then this is Okachan's wife and his uh, little daughter. She's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> It's only one years old, so she's doing really well. Yashio factory drift car and Dato-san driving the white S13. Genki! Kosuke-tene! I love this triple projector S13. Skyline front brake upgrade on that as well. This track looks amazing. Honestly, I can't wait to come out here when I've got my car finished and ready for the track out here and just slide it. Kind of wish I brought a helmet now and just kind of YOLO'd it with the Hikus bar, but it'd just frustrate me, I know, if I was drifting with it because it would throw me out so much. So see over there, that's where Google Maps took me before, was in that farmland right at the back there and I could see all of this from over that road, but I couldn't get to it. The typical Google Maps fail, right? See this Laurel here? Um, the person who owns that is an, um, you know, in her late 50s and right now she's got the instructor in there who's going to do a couple laps and teach her some stuff. But um, yeah, they, that initially was an automatic and they swapped it out after the engine blew and stuff and they put a manual transmission and another RV25 in there from a Skyline. So um, it's really cool to see like women at that age like out there wanting to compete and drift and stuff like that. It's so awesome. So you got this speedy enters in. <laughs> Damn. 
hopefully you can still see him on the camera, but he's out there. My God, he keeps the best lines. All right, guys, I'm in the car with Okachan, getting a passenger run. Check out these uh, awesome sleeves they gave me <laughs> so that I could get on track. Anyways, uh, we're gonna do a few runs and I'm gonna try and film it as best I can without getting thrown all over the place. Oh my gosh. Damage. Oh, you're it. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys some of the cars that are here. Really nice, clean S15. There's this Laurel. It's been killing it. RV25 manual swap. And this is the driver. She's been doing a good job. Oh, <laughs> she's gonna pop the bonnet. Arigato gozaimasu. Really nice swap. 
so previously they had a um an old uh like rv25 non-turbo that was auto in there and they swapped it out to the turbo skyline one this engine bay looks amazing really love it there's another really nice s15 here endless brakes a really nice s14 here she gets some good smoke too she bakes a lot does a good job that's a really smart idea the little spring there that's holding the uh, the oil dipstick in I need to get one of those it's a good idea love seeing chicks drifting is Okachana one of his students playing again and here's his red FD these guys are all getting ready and lined up now for the grip runs This is the last drift run of the day. Watch Okachan and his student kill it. His students are like training up to do D1. So. So this is for after the event, they're doing throwing like this huge big barbecue and this is how you keep your watermelons cool. So I'm tempted to almost jump in there and just cool down because it's so hot. Someone beat me to it. <laughs> so we're setting up for the barbecue now, which is going to be awesome. But these are the guys who have got it booked after us, which uh, they're doing some go-kart racing here. So that's kind of cool. Look at that steak. Oh man, what a fun day. Um, obviously I've left now and I'm in the car and I'm heading home, which is like an hour, I'm about an hour and 30 minutes away. Um, hopefully the traffic's not too bad at this time of day. Um, but man, today was so much fun just hanging out with like, uh, you know, like the crew that uh, Okachan has there supporting Yashio factory and just like watching like, like it was really inspirational to me to see like those elder, like not elderly, but you know what I mean? Like those older kind of like middle-aged women out there giving it a go. And I mean, there were some there that were amazing and really good at what they were doing. And like that actually were way better drivers than me, that's for sure. And then, you know, there were a couple there who were just starting to learn. Like that, that woman who's in her um, late fifties in that Laurel, like that is awesome. I can't believe that. Um, but yeah, like, and then um, towards the end there, uh, it was really inspiring as well when um, Okachan, there was this guy there who, um, it seemed like he had lost like a lot of movement in his, uh, I think it was his, um, his right side of his body. He couldn't lift his arm up. It was like locked in position and his uh, leg, he had to wear a special brace and stuff like that so he could walk around. And Okachan kept taking him out on track and like um, giving him passenger runs and teaching him some stuff. And, and then at the end, Okachan kind of did like a big announcement and announced everything everyone that you know that um, he took him out there and, and it was kind of like um, I guess like what you would think in Western culture like make a wish kind of foundation so it was really awesome that uh, you know Okachan's getting people like that out who have disabilities and letting them experience drifting experience stuff like that and just get to spend time with him and hang out and I think that's really inspiring and awesome um, you know and I hope that one day that you know if I ever get into a position where I'm able to do stuff like that like that would be amazing like i would love nothing more than to bless other people with you know um getting to hang out with me and show them stuff about cars take them out driving and drifting teach them some things and stuff like that i really think that's important you know like if you ever get to a place in society or in this world where you're like a, a figure that everyone looks up to that um you know that you also are able to give back to that community in a sense like just give back to the people because i mean in all honesty like if everyone thinks about it really simple and straight to the point is the only reason why those people even got to that higher like kind of position with you know lots of money and fame and fortune and all that kind of stuff is because of the people so if 
they don't give back to them, then it's kind of like you're just an arrogant, rude asshole, right? Um, excuse the French. Um, but, but you know what I mean? Like, I just really feel like, you know, there needs to be more people out there that do that kind of thing. And, um, you know, I definitely want to be able to do that in the future. If I ever get to a point like that, like, that would be awesome just to see kids and stuff like that who have disabilities, take them out, give them a good time and just make, treat them like a normal person. You know what I mean? So yeah anyways a um, little bit of a tangent there but um, that's just something that I guess is on my heart and uh, something I'm passionate about anyways uh, I need to focus on driving home so uh, what I might do is set up the time lapse and I'll let you guys uh, enjoy that <laughs> while I uh, drive home in this like ridiculous 40 degrees sun heat it's crazy I think it's like 36 in the shade and 40 in the sun today so it is brutal that is for sure um, and my car is doing great. Thank God for air conditioning. All right, guys, I'll leave you to the time lapse and um, I'll get back to driving. Okay, so we've walked ahead again here and uh, it's the end of the day now and I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, but today was amazing and I really hope you guys enjoyed this content and like me being able to show you guys uh, this event that Okachan threw on, which was just absolutely amazing. I had such a good time just hanging out with him, uh, his wife and his little daughter, Richan, and then like the rest of the other like family members that were there and things like that. It was just so good to like just you know experience like Japanese culture especially at the track and stuff like that so I really thoroughly enjoyed myself um, and yeah I just really hope that you guys really like found that this um, this content was kind of inspiring in a way and like how you guys should act in your countries and stuff like that and just you know maybe be a little bit more like kind of helping one another out a little bit more and try to like replicate what you saw here today I really think that's something important that the car culture in Western culture should really take on um, but yeah guys, I think with that I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. I am sunburnt so bad I don't know if you can see the back of my neck there, but it's it's pretty bad um, But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog once again guys Thanks heaps for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end of the vlog Thank you so much for hanging around and uh, as always guys make sure you like comment share and subscribe Thank you so much for being a part of these vlogs and like my this, like I'm gonna call you guys family from now on So thanks heaps for being a part of this family and what I'm doing here with this channel and as always guys Jamatane. Come on.